Mattel Electronics Dungeons and Dragons computer fantasy game. I remember when this first came out. It was back in the early 80s. I got one of these for Christmas one year. I used to get a lot of electronic handheld games in my stocking for Christmas. And this is one of the ones I remember getting. And what's really cool is it's, you know, credit card size. So it fits in your pocket really easy. But it's a, it's a really fun game. Even though it's very simplistic, you only have like two controls here. Well, three controls. You've got a cursor, attack, and a move button. That's just a little reset. Use a pencil or something like that to reset the game. But it has three different levels that you can play. And the whole goal of this game is to go through this maze. You try to find an arrow before you find the dragon so you can attack the dragon and win the game. Along the way, you got to avoid little pitfalls. And you get a rope to climb out of a pit initially when you start the game. It's actually quite a bit of fun. So let's let's give it a try here real quick. So we'll hit the attack button. Alma selects level one because that's, that's the most simplest level. So here we go. So we start the game. Okay. Oh, I got a pit next to me somewhere. So either here, 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 or here, there's a pit. So I got to make sure I choose the right direction. I'll go up. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the light. Let's go to the right here. I love the sound effects. Let's see. The little icon right there represents my little hook and rope to get out of a pit of a fall in. Every time you hear that do 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 do, that's the dragon moving around in the maze. Okay, we move around again. Let's go over to B3. Oh, another pit next to me. Let's go up. Oh, come on, I gotta find that arrow. Where's that arrow? Dang, another pit. Uh, let's go down. Oh! Fell in the pit. But I can climb right back out again with my little hook. Now it's gone, so if I fall and get into a pit again, the game is over. Man, this game is loaded with pits. Oh, jeez. Oh! Rats, fell in the pit again. Let's try it again. Let's do level three for the heck of it. Go to the side here first. <laughs> Fell in another pit right off the bat. <laughs> awesome! I just found another hook. So that's cool. Come on, I gotta find that arrow. Where is that arrow? Another freaking pit. Uh, I'm gonna go back up. Go this way. Yeah, let's go down. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna go down. Go back to A0 again. Let's go over here. A9. Ooh. Another pit. Well, we'll go down. B7. Oh boy. Oh, come on with the pits. Where's that arrow? Oh no, oh, the pit. Go. Oh, that was close. Oh, found another hook. Awesome. Well, let's go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. I got to pick the hook up. I didn't find it. I got to pick it up. So it's either up here. There we go. Now I picked up another hook. I forgot. It tells you when there's something next to you in a room. And I just lost the hook I just got. Daggone it. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's another pit. Oh, 
I fell in a pit, almost found the arrow. Dang it. And then when you're done playing the game, you just basically hold down the attack button for five seconds. And it goes back into demonstration mode. So the game will just sit there and play by itself. No sound. Uh, this is so it will conserve the battery life and everything. You can sit there and watch it. Uh, watch the game play by itself. Oh, there's the dragon right there. I've not really won this game too many times. I think, if I remember correctly, I maybe beat it maybe a, a handful of times since I've ever owned it. But it is a very challenging game to try to go through this little maze to uh, find the dragon. Uh, it, it does help to use graph paper, I've, I've found in the past, but the, the mazes are different. They, they kind of randomly generate every once in a while from what I've seen. But it does help a little bit to know where you've been roaming around the maze. So it's kind of cool. Now it does run on two of these little watch batteries. I think they're A76 size watch batteries. Yep, there they go, right there. Pretty simple. Actually a pretty neat little game. If you like collecting these little handhelds like this, little electronic uh, games, uh, this is one you probably want to add to your collection. It's, it's small, it's cool, it's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite little handheld games I have in my collection. Anyway, thanks for watching. Now let's go slay a dragon. Wait, what? Oh boy! Yeah! <laughs> hey, there's Hasbro! Hasbro makes toys! What's new, Hasbro? Pretty sneaky, sis. <laughs> Remember, you can tell it's Mattel. It's well. Okay, let him go. Some of the great SSP racers for 72. M A R X spells Mark, world's largest toy maker. Remember, every.